Hey, welcome to the Reddit time. I hope you are having a good day and let's hop into this thread. Pizza guys, what's the strangest thing you've seen when delivering? I was delivering a pizza to a high rise once on a Saturday night. Got in the elevator and there was a guy dressed like a pimp who tried to buy my pizza for me that I was about to deliver. He didn't even ask what kind or what size, he just pulled out a hundred dollar bill and said, I buy this for hundred dollar. And I politely turned him down. So he pulled out another hundred dollar and offered me two hundred dollars. I told him I could get fired. Man, that was hard to turn down. Here is where things get totally fucked up. When I get to the door of the guy I'm delivering it to, he opens the door and is dressed like a pimp also, like huge colorful jacket, and he grabs the pizza and gives me a hundred dollar bill and shuts the door. Pizza was about $35, so a $65 tip. Too long didn't read. Got the biggest tip of my life from a guy dressed like a pimp just seconds after turning down the biggest bribe of my life from another guy dressed like a pimp. I think elevator pimp wanted to buy the pizza in order to pretend to be the delivery guy to the second pimp. When second pimp opens the door, pimp 1 shoots pimp 2. You saved the pimp's life is your morality. At least that's how I tell it to the grandkids. Pimp friends were definitely testing the loyalty of their local pizza store. I was delivering a pizza to this house in a pretty rough neighborhood. These three trolleys answered the door and when the one guy stepped back to get the money, I noticed huge amounts of money and so much mess and enough of it to kill Snoop Dogg and around 20 guns. I was so scared. They gave me a tip of $20 cash and told me not to tell anyone. Hopefully they aren't traditors. Oh, you just snitched on me, you fucked up. Had someone answer the door once with a snake on his shoulders. Not like a milk snake or a garter, but a ball python, probably about six feet long. As he closed the door, I heard him say to someone that I hadn't tracked it at all, lol. Sounded so disappointed. Just the other day, showed up to a house to be greeted by two guys about 25 on the roof in underwear, clearly ecstatic about the pizza being delivered. Did you want to wipe the pizza up there? Some guy ordered a large pep pizza. When I got to the house, he wasn't there, so I called him out. He told me he was in the bathroom taking a shit and I had to wait 18 minutes to get my pay. Should have texted him a slice or two for the wait. I deliver for DoorDash and Grubhub sometimes pizzas. One time I picked up an order from each app, same exact order from the same restaurant, both named James, to the same hotel. When I knocked on the door, two guys were there and asked me which I was, DoorDash or Grubhub. I told them I was boss and have boss orders. They started to laugh really hard. When I asked what was so funny, they told me they had a bet on which one would come first. They thought it was going to be two different drivers and never thought one person would be using boss apps. I laughed too and asked them which one was James. They told me they are boss named James. I still wonder what other funny scenes those two guys tried to come up with. Just simply coming up and there were three guys in underwear waiting for me. Handing the pizzas over and more just start coming out in underwear and these were also wearing cowboy hats and native headdresses, some kind of bro Halloween party or something. Got to grab my tip out of the dude's bra. It was funny as hell, but when I left the building I had to process for a moment what the hell happened. Probably just the casting call for the new village people reboot. There was this house where a young couple had ordered pizza. I reached quite early and probably disturbed their sex session. The drunk dude had no idea that he had put on his girl's skirt. Not strange, but very difficult not to laugh at. That was just his cute. I delivered the pizza to this house and when I was standing on the front steps waiting for the guy to pay, I could hear all this hooting and hollering from inside. The guy keeps looking back into the living room and laughing. After punching in his info, he hands the machine back to me and says, Fuck man, you gotta see this. He steps back and I walk into the living room where there is probably five other dudes watching some guy fuck this 700 pound female fold it over stomach on a massive TV. There goes my pizza delivering dream job. I've been delivering food in general for two years. I've done just over 3500 deliveries and unfortunately I haven't seen a single strange scene. Not even something simple like a naked person. Maybe you just have high standards for what you consider strange. Yeah, I suppose after delivering to your 68th swingers party, it doesn't seem that unusual. Back in college when I used to deliver pizzas. I delivered to the local country jail, an officer was taking someone to jail. The guy going to jail, still with his hands cuffed behind his back, got away from the officer and took off as I was walking in and ran into me. I'm pretty sure this guy was tripping on mess. The officer caught up to both of us on the ground and were able to subdue him. I was covered pizza sauce and the officers on shift took the pizza, paid and each gave me $20. 
I told my manager and we remade the order for the officers and I re-delivered the order. The police were grateful and I was given another tip. One deliver and I made about $400. I should add, every time they ordered pizza from us again, they always requested the guy who knew how to take a charge and would always tip me well. Good times. I thought this was going to turn into a Spider-Man type of situation where I let him get away and then he later murdered your uncle. I once delivered the pizza late at night, the person who took the call told me that the person who ordered, let's call him Mark, was an old man and may take a while to get to the door. I get to the house and all the lights are off, no car in the driveway. I ring the doorbell, no answer. I knock on the door, no answer. I call the person's phone, no answer. Call again, still nothing. At this point, I had waited for about 15 minutes for this person and was walking back to my car to leave when I hear the front door open, so I go back. Again, there aren't any lights on, so I can only see the head of a young woman peek from behind the door, and she refuses to open it all the way, even to take the pizza. I then hear another woman behind her saying, who can cares if he sees open the door, so she opens it a little more to sign the receipt. She couldn't see, so I offered to shine my phone's flashlight so she can sign the receipt. I then realized that both of these women are naked. Me being the good employee, I was averted my eyes that she signed the receipt and I started walking back to my car. As I was walking away, one of the women yells to me, have a good night, you know Mark is, and I burst into laughter as I had totally forgot that this was the house of an elderly man. Mark can't come to the door, he is tied up. I don't know who Mark is, but he is a man. Was delivering to a hotel, had a guy pass out on me three separate times in a 10 minute encounter. Apparently he was narcoleptic, but he still scared the crap out of me. Narcoleptic here. He was probably having a cataplexy attack. We don't actually pass out, we are still conscious, but we lose control over our muscles, so we look passed out. There is also a scenario where it's only partial. Then it looks like a seizure because we tried to move along to cause spasms. It's triggered by emotion, so he probably got nervous or something. He was too excited for the pizza. One of our neighbors killed a pizza guy. Pizza guy was working his way through college. Neighbor got life for very premeditated murder. Well, they explicitly said delivery is 30 minutes or less. Wise men say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Hog lady. We used to get this pain in the ass orders right before closing for two pieces of chocolate cake and two cans of whipped cream. Whipped cream was not on the menu, so the customer made prepayment arrangement with management. Because of this, she thought she was a VIP. She was grossly obese, had three annoying pugs, was always rude and never tipped. It was stupid cold at night and I was having a bad shift, sure enough I get called back to the trailer park. I decided today was the day I would mess with her. I let out all the nitros in the whip cans and punched her cakes. I gave her order and told her to please stop ordering 5 minutes before closing. By the time I had gone back to the store, she had complained. My manager refused to cash me out until I returned full cans to her. When I came back, she had her gown open. I couldn't help but notice wet, non-foaming whipped cream all over her crotch, staining her black leggings. Sure enough, I looked down and one of the pugs had wet cream all over his face, dripping from his jowls. When I explained to my manager she was most likely committing bestiality, he finally blacklisted her. When I read Pug Lady, I was all like, yo, finally something else in weird sex shit. It ended up being weird sex shit. A previous co-worker of mine delivered pizza when he was in college and he told me that he once pulled up to a house and a group of high schoolers ran across the street with a finish line when he got there. They ordered from Pizza Hut and Dominus at the same time. I don't remember which one he worked for, but he won the race. I wanna try this now. I delivered a pizza to a young girl who was home alone and when she opened the door, her dog immediately ran away. I handed her the pizza, got in my car, found the dog and returned it. She left me no tips, so I was feeling kind of salty about it on the way back to the restaurant. A few hours later, her mother called the store asking to speak to me. She sent me and explained they had left tip money, but their daughter was so upset about the dog she forgot to give it to me. I worked at this pizza place for two more years through college and they would get two large pepperoni pizzas and request me to deliver it every week after that. They always tipped me at least $25. I'm so happy that the ending is happier than the beginning was making it look like it was going to be. Also good on you dude for being the man and finding her dog, these burgers can run far and hide well. Thank you for watching this video, I appreciate you sharing your valuable time with me today. If you have any stories about pizza delivery to share with us, you can write in the comments down below. If you don't, you can write what story from today's thread you like the most. Also subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up and see you in the next video.